Okay, in this video, we're just gonna I'm gonna quickly show you how easy it is to change the key of your multitracks. Um, here I'm using Logic, uh, but you can also use Ableton Live or any other DAW. Now the only difference is going to be Logic comes with, or or Apple rather comes with some uh, generic AU plugins for you know little basic utility type things like pitch shifting and whatnot. Um, nothing real elaborate, just real basic stuff. But uh, built into the Mac platform is an AU plugin um, for changing pitch. It's called AU Pitch, and that's what I use to change my stems down to different pitches. Um, now one thing to keep in mind is that if you have drastic um, transpositions you might not always get the best results so you're just gonna have to kinda tune it to your ear and a lot of times it works and sometimes it doesn't but th but here is the process. So the first thing I want to do is go to my first pitched instrument um, I'll skip over bass uh, but I want to go to this elect electric guitar part and if I hit play I'm going to solo this region right here that's selected. I'm just going to do that by clicking the S key. So now I'm listening to that guitar part. You can hear it on the right side. So I want to transpose that down a whole step. So the way to do that, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on my mixer tab. And it brings up my mixer settings. And um, here you can see that the selected track is right here. And here are my inserts right up here. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull that, hold that down with the mouse, and then come down here, select Audio Units, Apple, then AU Pitch. Oops. Okay. So now I have invoked the AU Pitch plugin, and the only setting that really matters to us is this one over here that says pitch. And right here where it says sense, every hundred cents in either direction means um, that I'm going to go up or down a half step. So since I want to go down a whole step, that's two half steps. So I'm going to say minus 200. Okay, so now you hear that that pitch is now down a whole step. And that's really all there is to it. So that's really how easy it is. Now what I gotta do is I've gotta invoke that same plugin across all of these pitched tracks here. The easiest way to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back over to this region and I'm gonna hit that S key again so that uh, everything else comes back. And as you can hear, everything's in the original key. So. What I can do, if I hold the Option and the Apple key together, I can just pick this up and drag it, and it makes a copy. So I can literally just go down the list here. Okay, so as you can see, that's how easy it is to go down a whole step. Just copy that instance over, and there it is. And you know, the vocals sound a little weird, but if I mute those, it sounds pretty good. So at this point, all I got to do is re-export my individual stems, and that's covered in other videos. Um, all I have to do is re-export my stems, and then I'm good to go. So the AU Pitch plugin is, is probably the most reliable. Again, it's just a simple bare bones plugin, but it works really well for um, changing the pitch of, of your tracks.